So we have had possibly the most anticlimactic uh, final you could imagine. Uh, there was a lot riding on this uh, because you had uh, KKR and SRH, the two fastest scoring teams in the tournament, uh, facing off against each other. But well, what eventually panned out was an eight wicket win for KKR with 57 balls to spare. And the Knight Riders lifted their third title. Uh, Shreya Sayyar's first title win as captain, Gautam Gambhir first as mentor, third as uh, a player and a mentor. And well, it was pretty much a perfect game for KKR, as Mitchell Stark said uh, in the post-match press conference. Uh, and Mitchell Stark, uh, Mitchell Stark completed his redemption uh, after quite an under underwhelming season throughout. Uh, there, there was a lot of criticism about his price tag. Uh, he even said that there were a lot of jokes made about him being paid that kind of money. But uh, when it mattered the most, he delivered in the final. Uh, he was player of the match, picked up Abhishek Sharma's wicket in the first over with probably the ball of the tournament, uh, angling in, uh, straightening and hitting the top of off stump. Uh, from there on, it was pretty much uh, a no-show uh, as far as SRS batting is concerned. Uh, they folded for 113, uh, they lost three wickets in the power play. And then, yeah, the, the middle order couldn't really consolidate because you had Harshit Rana and uh, Andre Russell who used a uh, change of pace and pulled into the wicket uh, on what was a very sluggish pitch uh, in Chennai and uh, didn't really uh, provide any scoring opportunities to SRS while also picking up wickets. Uh, Sunil Narayan and Varun Chakravarti again were at their economically best as they have been throughout the tournament. Uh, they also got a couple of wickets between them. And uh, well, SRS uh, rollicking season with the bat uh, came to a pretty even uh, end. Uh, and it was never going to be a tough task for uh, KKR, even though Sunil Narayan uh, fell early. Uh, there was never, uh, SRS never really had a foothold uh, in the game because uh, Venkatesh Ayer uh, finished it off with uh, 26 balls, uh, half century. Uh, and well, as fate would have it, the other Ayer, Shreya Sayer was at the other end uh, when uh, Venkatesh Ayer scored the winning run. Again, it was a very, not a not a very exciting finish because it was uh, a miscued parallel sweep that uh, eventually brought the winning run for KKR. Uh, but well, that didn't dampen the spirits of the Knight Riders because they had a, a, a very uh, a very emotional and a, a very uh, exciting uh, post-match celebration session. Uh, obviously, you viewers were uh, had to wait for quite a bit uh, to actually see the Knight Riders lift the trophy. The match ended at around 10.20, uh, but uh, they didn't lift the trophy until maybe 10-15 minutes post midnight. Uh, so, uh, not the best of ends to what has been the fastest scoring uh, T20 tournament ever. Uh, a lot of takeaways in terms of how KKR has really uh, really managed to uh, nurture talent in terms of Indian talent, uh, how they have, how their overseas players have performed, uh, how their coaching staff has managed the team. And uh, well, uh, it just seems that uh, KKR has a really bright future considering, uh, I mean, we we'll obviously have to look at how their retention goes next season because we have uh, a mega auction coming up this year.